Filmora 14 vs Da Vinci Resolve. In this video we will do complete comparison of features of these to beast, AI and fast video. Editing softwares to see which is the king of video. Editing. Stay connected till end so you don't miss anything. So without wasting time let's get started. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, Filmora 14 unlocks new possibilities for visual storytelling and effects, taking video editing quality to the next level within your breath. Da Vinci Resolve is the world's only solution that combines editing, color correction, visual effects, motion graphics, and audio post-production all in one software tool. Its elegant, modern interface is fast to learn and easy for new users, yet powerful for professionals. Best of all, by learning Da Vinci Resolve, you're learning how to use the exact same tools used by Hollywood professionals. So without wasting time, let's get started. It is the advanced form of motion tracking. It is one of the best features of Filmora 14, which takes video editing to next level. In your timeline, click on the clip on which you want to apply planar tracking. Go to AI tab and enable planar tracking. You have WO models, auto and advance. Adjust the position where you want to track. Click on Analyze, Filmora will process the movement of selected area throughout the clip. Once tracking is complete, create the new element, in this case we will create rectangle to cover the sign. Now select the clip and find link element. Use the element you just created. Adjust the scale and position. Now let's create the text we want to put into the sign. Drop down the menu and choose the text you just created. Our desired text on the signboard is done. In this way you can easily create do tracking. We can also do amazing planar tracking in Da Vinci. For this import your clip in timeline on which you want to apply planar tracking. Go to Fusion, our video will appear as media in and media out. Go to Effects Panel, search for Planar Tracker, and can easily add it to your video. Showing all planar tracking process in DaVinci which will make the video long, I will show you some of the process of it and fast forward the video to show things in less time. If you are new to channel like and subscribe to Jugar Expert as we upload such type of informative videos. Final result looks like this. In this way you can easily apply planar tracking. Let me know which software's planar tracking you liked most. In planar tracking Da Vinci Resolve takes the Let's lead. move towards next feature. In order to use this feature, select your all clips. Right click and create multi-camera clip. Here you can choose synchronization method. Click on compound clip in timeline and select multicam button. This opens the window showing all camera angles. Just play the clip and click on clip and Filmora will swift to that camera angle. In this way you can fastly edit your amazing video. In DaVinci, select your clips, right click and create new multi-cam clip. After that new window will appear showing some settings. You can change the settings according to your need. We have successfully created our multi-cam clip. Bring the clips to your timeline. From here select the multicam option. Now, simply click on the camera and it will automatically select that camera angle. In this way you can also create multi-camera clips and Da Vinci Resolve. Let's move to other features. This new feature allow you to create path for keyframes. This makes the animation more smooth and efficient. The end result looks like this. In DaVinci, first of import the image for keyframing. All the process for keyframing is simple and easy. 
It will create path between first and last keyframe, and you can easily change the path to apply keyframing. After making random path of keyframes, the final result looks like this. In order to keep the video short, we will not go to much details of this feature. AI sound effect allows you to create your own desired sound effects with simple prompt. This saves time for searching on internet for the sound effects. DaVinci Resolve doesn't have this feature. You have to search on the internet for sound effects. In the color tab, choose AI color palette. Import your reference clip and click Generate. You can make adjustments to color strength. By this feature, you can apply any movie or series colors to your video clip easily. In order to use this feature, first import both source and reference clips. Go to Colors tab, select both clips, and right click, select Shot Match the Clip. It will automatically apply the reference clip colors to the desired clip. Let's move to other features. This feature is same as a Filmora 13. It allows you to auto reframe your clip. We won't go in much details as you already know about this feature. DaVinci also has this feature. You can easily reframe your videos to any aspect ratio. Let's move to next feature. Open Effects tab and select Face Mosaic. Filmora will automatically detect faces. You can choose which one's face to blur. Just single click and your face mosaic is done. This is amazing and time-saving feature. In DaVinci you can also blur any faces, but not like Filmora. Filmora now has the Video Enhancer feature, which will novert your low-resolution video to high-quality video with the help of AI in few seconds. In DaVinci Resolve to increase the quality, go over and select Media, then right-click your video clip and select Timeline and Timeline Settings. On this screen, uncheck Using Project Settings. Change the resolution to this and click OK. Now right click on your clip in timeline and select clip attribute and expand super scale to 4x. This will enhance video quality. These were some of the features of new Filmora 14 as compared to DaVinci Resolve. AI Face Mosaic is my favorite. Tell me which feature you like the most. It's up to you which software you use. Use both and choose the software which best fits your needs. I hope this video will be helpful. Like, share, and subscribe to Jugar Expert for more helpful and informative videos. Thanks for watching.